Okay, welcome to module three of the Google Sites uh, tutorial. So module three is about preparing and using photos. So first we'll see how you can check what the size of your photo should be before you upload it. And then how to use Photoshop to resize your photo to the right size. It's very important before you upload this, the photo to the website. Um, and then a few other tips about using Photoshop, like how to adjust the color of your photo, how to flip the photo's orientation, and then finally how to save the photo using Save for Web, which will make it very lightweight and easier for people to view the photo online on the website. <coughs> then we'll have a look at, but once your photos are ready, how you can load them onto the Google site and um, how you can access the photos that you've already loaded onto your site and use them in different places on the site. Um, it's very important to make your photos the right size. Uh, a, they look better when they're the right size, and B, if your photo size is too big, what happens is it really slows your site down and it makes it hard for people with slower internet connections to actually look at the site. So I want to make a photo that's exactly the same size as this photo shown here. So how do I do that? Um, I will use that photo as an example of what size it is, and then I'll measure that and make a new photo using the same size. So to do that, I go where the photo is that I want to use, and then I right-click it, and I save it on my desktop. Save. And then you'll see that that photo appears here on my desktop. So now I can just um, minimize my uh, Google site browser for now. And then I want to open that photo in Photoshop. So that's going to take a minute for Photoshop to load up. Another way to um, open your photo file is to go File, Open when you're actually in Photoshop. And there's my photo, so I go to my desktop and my photo is on the desktop and you click open. Now to check the size it's really easy you just go to image image size and this will tell you what size your image is. Now it's very important to um, work in what's called pixels when you're doing web stuff so I might want to just <coughs> jot down here in a little note what my image size is so the width of my image is 397 pixels, the which is px, and the height is 247 px. Okay, so that's exactly the photo size that I want to be working with. So then I go and I get a new image, so open, and for this I want to use, let's say, this image now this image is like a hundred and thirty megabytes so you're definitely not going to want to load that onto your website because there's no way people will be able to view it so remember that the size that we're looking for is that and if we go to image size on this image we can see this is seven thousand and change pixels. So we're going to change that. Hey, we're going to change that by cropping the photo. So these are the different tools that you have in Photoshop. Um, the tool that you want to use for this exercise is the crop tool, which is this one here. So you just click on the crop tool, and then this menu will appear here at the top of the page, which you can use for setting the crop specifications you want to use. So your width, you want to change that to 397 pixels because that's what your photo was before. And the height, you want to change to 247 pixels. And the standard screen resolution for the internet is 72. So then we'll give ourselves a little bit of space and just drag the um, crop tool across the image. Now the crop tool will only go in that shape because that's the shape that corresponds to these dimensions. So you know you can kind of play a little bit with how you want this to be 
cropped, how you want it to be placed, and once you're happy with the way it is, then you just double click, and your photo will be resized. Now, don't worry if it gets really small like this, just go over to the hand function and double click that, and um, that's your resized photo. Um, when you're in the hand function, you have these dip different options, which is actual pixel fit to screen and print size. So actual pixels, that's the pixel size of your photo. Fits to screen makes it as big as it can possibly go on the screen. And print size shows if you were to print it out, what size it would look. So um, this is actually quite a nice photo, but let's say this photo is a bit too dark. So... Um, It looks a bit like that. Okay, there's a few different functions in Photoshop, things, ways that you can make your photos look better. So one of the functions, um, the best ones are here under image adjustment, and then some of these auto functions, so like auto levels, for example, we'll try that. Image adjustment, shadow and highlight is a really good one. So you click on that and you can see that this will make your photo lighten up so that um, lightens your shadows and this darkens the highlights so you just do that you know to taste um, and try and make the photo look as realistic as possible another thing you might want to do um, for your layout is you might want to flip your photo so that instead of the boy being on this side the boy is on that side um, it's better be careful if you have a photo like this that has text in it, um, then the text will also be reversed, which is not a good idea. But just for the tutorial, we can have a look at how that works. Right, image, rotate canvas, and then flip canvas horizontally. So there you go. There's your image posted on the other side. Okay, so when... So we're going to put that back the way it was before, yeah? So flip horizontal. Um, and we're going to crop in just a little bit more on this photo. And then uh, we're going to save the photo for web. Now, saving for web, what that does is it makes your photo a lot smaller, which again is really great for website use because you want your photo to be as lightweight as possible on your website. Go file save for web and devices and then we're going to choose the setting of JPEG and you can look at a few options here by clicking on 4 up so this is the original photo 280k and then if we use the 100 quality it'll go down to 100k and if we use the 50 quality it'll go down to 24k and if we use a 25 quality, it'll go down to 15K, but you can see that the photo is starting to look a bit kind of blurry and not so great. So um, you select whichever one of these you think is going to represent your photo best. Um, I think with this one, we'll probably go with the 100 quality. So then you save that. And it's really important that you resave it somewhere that it's easy to find so I'm gonna put this on my desktop and it's also a good idea to rename the photo um, because you don't want to override your original high-resolution photo um, just in case it gets saved in the same place so I'm gonna call this um, photo for tutorial and I'm putting that on my desktop save. Okay, then you can go ahead and shut this down and click, very important, click don't save on here because otherwise you'll override your original photo. So click don't. And then the next thing is, well, how do you get that new photo that you made onto your Google site? So you go back to your Google site, open it up again, and let's say we're going to put this on a new page. So click create page. Sometimes when you click on the Google site, it doesn't do what you want it to do, so you just have to click again. But be patient, because it's working online. So we're going to call this new page, um, Test My Photo. And we're going to just put it on the top level. 
and click create page. <coughs> so here's our page for inserting the photo. And it's very easy. You just go to insert image and then you choose file and that's the photo, the photo for tutorial there it is and click open and the photo will now start uploading onto the internet so it'll be stored in your Google site and once it's there and clearly marked and this box is yellow around the photo that you want to use you just click OK and there it is, there's your photo on your Google site so if you click save there's the photo inside the site and um, there's a few things you might want to do to that photo like for example if this is written here what happens is this um, if someone clicks on the photo it's going to open a new page with just the photo on it which um, generally is not a good idea so generally um, I would take off that link when I'm doing something so you click on the photo this blue box comes up and you just click remove there and save and what that means is now nothing happens when you click on the photo which is better and other things that you can do with the photo um, settings is you can center the photo you can right align it you can adjust the size to small medium large or the original size of the photo itself and when you're working with uh, text so let's say um, you're gonna have some text in here uh, and you have some text there. Now, I actually want my text to wrap around my photo, so you just click on the photo and put the wrap on. And you can see that text, which was below the photo before, moves to the side of the photo. And this as well, we could um, add that there. So that's when the wrap is on. And then if you take the wrap off, it goes down underneath the photo and then wrap goes back on. So we're going to save that. And um, now once you've loaded a photo onto Google, so what we did earlier when we uploaded that photo, the photo is going to be stored inside your um, what's called your Google attachment. So let's have a look at where that is. So remember this photo is called Photo for Tutor Tutorial. So we go to Manage Site, which is the back end of your site. And we go to this section called Attachments. And in Attachments, you'll have all the different things that you've uploaded to your website in sort of a long list. So anytime you want, you can reuse the same image, because it's already stored on the internet. There it is. Insert Image and go to uploaded images there it is again because it's on that same page and then another option would be to go where that was and copy that URL and insert image web address, paste that URL, and then click OK. So those are some of the different ways that you can um, use photos on your Google site.